G'day golfers. Well, we hope you've enjoyed Masters Week and congratulations to Hideki Matsuyama for a fantastic effort, a well-deserved win and the first Asian player to win the Masters. So with Hideki's win, we thought we'd just have a little bit of a swing analysis today of Matsuyama and work out how watching his swing can help your game. Welcome to Aussie Golf Pros. We all know that Hideki has a very distinctive swing, a super long pause at the top of the backswing. Well, he used to have, and we've seen that reduce. Under the watchful eye of his new swing coach, Hidenori Mazawa, then he has really worked on reducing the amount of pause that he has at the top of the backswing. That has helped him to smooth out his tempo a little bit. The pause isn't a bad thing, and it's definitely what we're gonna be talking about today, but obviously he was just overdoing it a little bit. So let's have a look at, at the pause going back a few years and let's have a look to see how much of a break he does have at the top of the backswing. And we can see that when he gets to the top of the backswing like that, with that big pause, he's able to transfer his weight very aggressively and get a lot of downforce into the ground, a lot of vertical launch, and that's a powerful move. But that pause really does affect the tempo and it, it can get too long as we see in recent years with Hideki. He's had some great wins, but he's definitely playing better now, which is great to see. So should you pause at the top of the backswing? In the short answer is yes. If you feel like you're rushing the downswing a little bit and getting a little bit over the top, starting the downswing with the upper body, using the arms and shoulders to start your downswing, then you're definitely gonna benefit from pausing at the top of the backswing, at least in your practice. Now, if you try to pause like Hideki Matsuyama, then I guarantee you, you're only going to perform a fraction of that pause. It's gonna feel like you're up there long enough to make a cup of tea, and then you video it, record it, and look at it back, and you'll find that there's hardly any pause at all. I know, I've asked many players to see if they can pause at the top of the backswing, and very few players can do it. We're all in such a hurry to start that downswing, and that is the problem. We want to generate all of that speed and power and quite often a lot of golfers use the upper body muscles to try to generate that power. And actually we want the reverse to happen. So I'm sure as a drill going back in his teenage years then Matsuyama was pausing at the top deliberately to try to get ground force energy and leg and hip power to initiate the downswing sequence. And that's what we want to achieve. So as a drill, it's super. I encourage you to go ahead and do it, but I also encourage you to video yourself to see how much of a pause there actually is. I guarantee you it won't be much, at least not to start with. Now, if we can get the hang of that and generate more ground force energy, more vertical launch through the shot, then we can increase our clubhead speed and hit the ball further. Let's have a go. Remember, this is just a drill. Nice big pause and that enables me to start that downswing with that lower half. Very easy to rush it from the top of the backswing here, so I'm gonna get a, as big a pause as I can on it. Remember, this is just a drill. Well, I'm sure that wasn't much of a pause, but it felt like a lot to me, and it really does help me to initiate that downswing with the lower half, with the legs and hips, and get that downswing sequence the way we want it to be. So the other thing that we're going to talk about with Hideki's swing is where he's pointing the shaft at the top. Hideki has always laid the club up quite a lot. Some players do that and it's not just Matsuyama, uh, Dustin Johnson, Sergio Garcia, Lee Trevino used to do it as well. So what that does is it helps players to get into the slot, to get nice shallow and, and that flatter plane into the downswing. These players that go across the line at the top, they have to reroute the club. So think players like Jim Furyk or Matthew Wolf, where they get over here and then they reroute the club into that shallow position. A lot of players don't like to do that or, or can't do it. So it helps them if they lay that club off to then just drive into the downswing and the club comes in shallower. We want that grip of the club pointing to a point just outside the golf ball. But if you get across the line and you don't reroute the club, then you get very steep. You get this vertical position where the shaft is pointing down to your toes. 
And that's what we don't want. I'll demonstrate it. So I'm going to cross the line at the top there and we'll slow it down and see how steep I get. Oh, lost my balance there a little bit as well. So if you slow that down, we can see that shaft in the downswing, see how steep it gets because I didn't reroute the club. So for those players that struggle to get the club to move that way, then we can just lay it off. So we get into this position here, lay the club off, which means that the shaft is pointing off to the left for a right-hander and obviously to the right for a left-hander. And then just turning through, you can see that shaft is now in that very shallow position and the shaft is pointing outside the golf ball. And the more laid off you get, the easier it is to stay on plane there, as long as you don't sort of come over the top. And, and that's what we want to get out of a system. If you get too steep here, it's very easy to come over the top, hit pull shots to the left or big slices, and you're definitely going to lose some power as well. All right, now let's see if I can get really laid off here, and we'll see where that shaft gets in the downswing. We can see that it's a shallower downswing. It's not as shallow as someone like Sergio Garcia, but it's a shallower, better shaft position. That's more powerful, more consistent, and the club face is gonna be more stable with that shaft position in the downswing. So plenty of different ways of doing it, but the two main ways, just getting up to the top and crossing the line, but then rerouting the club, aka Matthew Wolf, or players like that, but there are plenty of players that don't really want to do that or can't do it, so they lay the club off. Ricky Fowler is the other one that comes to mind, really lays the club off, and that helps those players to get that shaft into that slot, into that powerful position, nice and shallow, with the shaft pointing to a point just outside the golf ball. They don't want to get the shaft over here. Very few players on tour get that shaft steep. There are a couple, but most of these elite players get that shaft very shallow. So to recap, pausing at the top of the golf swing, great drill if you really want to improve that sequence, that transition, get the lower half starting that downswing and letting the upper half follow rather than being in such a hurry. We're always in such a hurry to start that downswing with our arms and shoulders, so it's a super drill for that. But video yourself and see how long that pause gets. I think you'll find that it's a very short pause. It feels like a long time, but it's, it, it is actually a very short pause. And if you struggle to reroute the club in that transition and you're trying to shallow the club then experiment with laying that club off that means that the wrist might get into a little bit different position as well you might start to see a little bit of bowing everybody's different but if, if you can't reroute the club and shallow it out from a, a straight or across the line position then trying to lay the club off does help you to get into the slot in the downswing it's worth noting also that this win by Hideki Matsuyama really does put Strixon and Cleveland on the map. It's the second major win in recent times with the Strixon driver in the bag. Shane Larry won the Open using it. And obviously Hideki's using the ZX Strixon irons as well. They really are amazing. Check them out at your local pro shop. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And we look forward to seeing you again next week. Are you the best golfer you can be?